Hello everyone and welcome to another Headstone video. Today I'm gonna show you guys a new and better design for the multi-item choker storage. I'm going to put some timestamps in the video so you can jump to the block by block tutorial or any other part that you are interested. First let me first let me explain what this system does. So uh, here you will have your item input that uh, right now uh, this is connected to a uh, storage, so first uh, we fit, filter out the uh, unstackable items and then there is some book storage here for items that you have a lot and then we will have some shulker boxes here uh, with items that you maybe don't have a lot so you don't need it, uh, one item filter just for that item so we do a multi item and storage right and in this design we do need the slot reservation so as you can see all slots of the shulker boxes uh, do need to have the items right but you don't need to have the all 54 shulker boxes here right you can have up to 54 shulker boxes but you can have for example here I have only 18 right yeah and what will happen is the items uh, will come through the system and when they uh, come here come here uh, the system will start to uh, roll the shulker boxes and try to place the items inside the shulker boxes. And yeah, of course, the two big advantages of this system is because it's very compact, as you can see, and you can uh, store a bunch of items in shulker boxes. And uh, it's good to sort in shulker boxes because you can just grab the boxes you want and go do your project and then just come back and place them back here but just remember that they always have to be uh, all slots with at least one item right and the big disadvantage is of course this is much much slower than other systems and if we have an item that we are not sorting in any of the boxes or if it's full in the box that we are sorting uh, the system will just be running 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 forever so you have to come here manually and remove the items from here or the chest right so last video i showed this prototype and it does work but it had uh, some problems uh, like we needed to press the button here to start the system and uh, it uh, had a timer to uh, try to put items inside the box and that sometimes left some items behind here as uh, we showed in the video, right? And after I posted this video, I also posted it in the storage tech discard. And Inspector Taylor uh, made a design here uh, that also works. So the shulker boxes are here. And when we have uh, items inside the system here, it will start to break and place new shulker boxes, right? And yeah, the shulker boxes will go here. So yeah, this uh, does work. Uh, the only problem is that after it rolls all shulker boxes, uh, you have to come here manually and place these shulker boxes back to the top chest here, right? So what I did is I, I grabbed this concept here and tried to work out to solve some of these uh, problems. And this is uh, the end result I, I got, right? Uh, so here we have the item input that of course you can uh, have a, a hopper here coming from my star like we uh, showed there and actually is much better if you filter out the uh, unstackable items first and also items that you have a lot like stone cobblestone right uh, because this uh, is better for storing items that you don't have uh, too many right because it's multi-item storage, not book storage, right? So let's explain the advantages and disadvantages of this uh, system. So first, the advantages is that the system starts automatically uh, when there is items here, and it stops automatically when all the items uh, are inside the shulker boxes, right? When there is no more items to sort. Another advantage is that your shulker boxes will most of the time they will be inside this uh, chest here, right? So you don't need to have the, uh, access to uh, the other chest like in this design, for example. There is only two uh, small problems with this design and both can be solved by 
making the design a little bit bigger. I will show how uh, later in the tutorial. And there is also two edge cases. So first let's uh, talk about the uh, disadvantages. Uh, so yeah, one of the disadvantages is when we uh, finish sorting all this, uh, the items, there will be uh, still a shulker box left here. And uh, there can be some shulker boxes left inside this hopper here. That So the solution, uh, the simple solution I made for this is open this door here and press this lever, it will break the box that's there and will come back to this chest and you can also access the hopper and if there is still uh, some shopper boxes here you can place them uh, back uh, manually in the chest, right? And like I said, there is uh, ways to solve these two problems automatically uh, I will show how in the tutorial and yeah, now let's talk about the two edge cases uh, so, uh, the two edge cases is when you get items here to sort that you are not actually sorting in the shulker boxes here. So, for example, here I'm only actually sorting yellow wool because I'm, I was just testing. So, any item that I input here, uh, it will start the system and it will never end, right? Uh, because uh, no shulker box has a space for that uh, white glass I placed. Uh, I can even do a tick warp uh, here so you guys uh, can see that it will uh, work infinitely. It will never stop, right? And yeah, that's one of the edge cases. So yeah, the only way to fix that is that you're gonna notice uh, this length is on when there is items there. And if you, you notice this is on after a long time, after you place the items uh, in your star system, you can come here and look at this hopper and the item will be here. So you can uh, check it out uh, and remove the item here, right? And the other edge case is uh, similar to this, but instead of being an item that you are not sorting, is an item that you are sorting but it's already uh, full in the shopper boxes, right? So yeah, it's pretty much the same thing that will happen. The item will be there in the hopper infinitely. Okay, now this part here is probably going to be long because I'm going to try to explain everything how the headstone works, right? Okay, so this part is probably going to be a little bit long because I'm going to explain how the headstone works. So if you're not uh, interested in this, you can jump to the tutorial, right? So first, as we talked about, this is the item input, right? And you can have your uh, hoppers coming from somewhere else. And this is where uh, your shulker box stay, right? And uh, just like I said in, uh, in the problems there, there is probably a uh, shulker box somewhere, yeah, in this hopper here, yeah. So yeah, this shulker box is uh, will eventually some of the shulker boxes will stop here or uh, they will be inside here, right? And yeah, this lever is to mostly to break the box there and then you can grab the shulker box here and place there. Okay, so uh, what happens is uh, when we get items coming to the system uh, only one item uh, will stay here in the hopper, right? I can actually demonstrate for you guys here so we are filtered filtering yellow wall so for example if we put 32 here you will see that we have only one wall here and the other ones will stay locked here until it finds a shulker box that can fit yellow wall like it's already found because all shulker boxes have yellow wall right and it starts placing uh, the items there, right? So yeah, when we uh, place all the white hole, it will uh, stop, right? And this is... Yeah, and it will try to place the shocker box back here. But yeah, this is one of the cases where we have a shocker box left there. And probably, yeah, one more in the hopper there. So yeah, we have a shocker box there and we need to press this, that shulker box will uh, come inside here, and then we have one more here, right? Okay, so how that works is this comparator will see that we have an item here, 
and it will power this block uh, that do mostly two things first uh, it will empower this torch that will uh, empower this and unlock the hopper that uh, gets the shulker boxes out of the chest right and secondly it will unlock this uh, or unpower this repeater and start the clock right and how the clock work is a fade out clock right so when this uh, fades out when this headstone gets to zero right it will power the starch and then this piston uh, will push the observer here powering this block and then this headstone will break the box here with the piston and then uh, we have this observer here and it will dispense uh, a shulker box here and then we have a true tick repeater here to activate the clock again right and it loops right so it will fade out again and break the shulker box place a new one fade out break the shulker box place a new one and what happens uh, here is when uh, that uh, item that's there uh, gets out of there and gets inside the shulker box the comparator will empower for a brief moment right and it will empower uh, this other torch here that is locking the hopper that's why we only have one item all the time here and yeah it will get a new item here and also when it empowers quickly it will power this repeater that will uh, reset the fade clock right so that's why when I, we did the example with 32 yellow wall there every time a, a new wall uh, gets inside shocker box the comparator stays like this empowered and then this uh, he starts the clock and the next wall gets there the comparator powers the torch and powers this so the clock starts to fade in and all that stuff right okay so this is how the uh, breaking and replacing cycle works right and uh, by the way this uh, has some lamp here is just to see if there is items so yeah when there is items there this torch will turn on and this lamp will turn on right okay now uh, down here uh, from the same comparator that uh, compares if there is items to be sorted uh, we get a signal here and we start another fading clock here and this fading clock the only thing it does it is unlocking this hopper under the dispenser and this is just so when uh, we have no items here like right now this will empower this block and unlock this hopper here right because this hopper is locked when there is items there so yeah it will unlock this hopper here and all the shulker boxes left in the dispenser uh, will get inside this uh, chest and will go uh, through the elevator back to the chest where we have the uh, shulker boxes here, right? Yeah, and uh, when we have uh, no shulker boxes here on the dispenser, this comparator will turn off, right? And this happens in two cases. Uh, first, if we are out of items in this uh, locks the hopper and gets all the shulker box out of here or if we run through all the shulker boxes but we still have the items there but none of the shulker boxes uh, got the item inside yet right so that will uh, also uh, power this uh, block here right so yeah right now we don't have any uh, shulker boxes here so this is unpowering this hopper right because when we uh, still have shulker boxes here, uh, this is locked here, locking uh, the shulker box that we break and they get to this hopper and get here. So we lock this hopper so they don't go to the elevator. And the reason we do that is because if we don't do that, uh, for example, these boxes will be inside the dispenser and then they will break, come here, and then they are in the first slot so they will go. Uh, to the dispenser again and these other shocker boxes would never go to the dispenser right so that's why we lock this but yeah when we don't have any more shocker boxes we unlock and the shocker boxes get inside here and we have this uh, elevator here so the comparator will see that we are getting shocker boxes 
and it will uh, power this block uh, here that will activate the piston, activating the elevator here and also will power this repeater that will uh, bring a signal up here to lock this uh, hopper here, right? Because if we don't lock and there is still items there, uh, this would be unlocked, right? Because if that comparator uh, is powering the block here, this will be unpowered and this all will be unpowered. So yeah, what would happen is we would start sending the shocker box up here and the first shocker box that get here would get inside uh, the hopper uh, here and then it would get inside the dispenser and it would power this and then it would uh, send the headstone block here back here powering this hopper but we probably would still have shocker boxes left here, right? So we didn't send all the shocker boxes there. So yeah, that's why we have to unpower uh, this. Uh, so that's why we have to power this block here to lock the hopper. And yeah, after uh, we have sent all the shocker boxes, right? This comparator will unpower. So yeah, the elevator stopped working because we already elevated all shocker boxes back here. And then this signal will uh, fade out and unlock the hopper there if we still have items. If we don't have items like right now, it will uh, lock uh, the hopper will, will stay locked. And yeah, we already sorted all items. And the reason why we needed to cycle the shocker boxes over and over until we have no items here, uh, it's because Imagine we have these two shocker boxes in the system. Uh, this one has headstone and this one uh, has diamonds and other stuff, right? And imagine we have uh, items coming through. And the first item we have, for example, is diamond. And the second item that's waiting to, uh, to get inside there, waiting here in the chest, uh, is headstone dust. And we start uh, cycling through the shocker boxes and the headstone shocker box gets dispensed there first. The diamond will be in the uh, hopper and it will try to get inside the, the headstone box but can't because there is no spot for diamonds here. So the system will break the headstone box and the box will come to this chest down here. And when the uh, shocker box with diamond uh, gets there, it will place the diamond there, and then the next item on the hopper is the headstone dust, and yeah, it will break this uh, shocker box and break all the other shocker boxes until we have all the shocker boxes down here, but the headstone dust will still be there inside uh, the hopper, because we didn't uh, cycle the headstone shocker box yet, so that's why we need to send all the boxes back until we get the uh, headstone shocker boxes again and then the headstone dust can enter inside the headstone shocker box so that's why uh, we have to cycle uh, that again so yeah like i said the big disadvantage of this system compared to others is the speed right it's very very slow because of this uh, situation that i just uh, described right and obviously, uh, the less shocker boxes you have here, the faster it will uh, sort, right? Like I said, you don't need 54 shocker boxes. So if you uh, don't need uh, that much uh, multi-item storage, uh, you can have less shocker boxes here that this uh, will make the system faster, right? But yeah, the idea is we lose speed to get uh, compactness, right? Because these you can uh, sort up to uh, 54 shocker boxes, which is like 27 double chests. So if you make a 27 double chest storage system, you're gonna have a, a lot of space, right? So yeah, I think that's it for the headstone explanation. Oh, and I forgot to explain the colors of the uh, glass here. So this white glass here, you can place pretty much any blocks. Just, of course, don't place like headstone blocks or stuff that emit headstone signals, right? Because uh, that could be bad, right? Uh, and these uh, purple blocks here need to be 
transparent blocks, right? Like stairs, slabs, or glass. So you can open the chest here, and so you don't uh, cut this headstone uh, here, right? And this yellow block here uh, can be any block that you can place a door on top, right? But of course, you don't really need the door here if you don't want, but uh, the door is really useful because of those cases uh, where you have shocker boxes left here and uh, shocker boxes left there, which is actually gonna happen uh, every time that you sort all the items. The only way that this doesn't happen is if you still have the items sorting here, right? And I also tested this uh, in all directions and I ticked warped with carpet mod and also used the uh, extreme behavior, right? To test if the shocker boxes could break and get like under this hopper or on this gap here, right? But we didn't lose any uh, shocker boxes in my tests, right? So yeah, now let's go to uh, the uh, block by block tutorial, and I will also explain the block by block uh, in the block by block tutorial how to avoid having shocker boxes left uh, there, right? And also avoid left uh, having shocker box left inside this hopper here. Okay, so let's start the block by block tutorial. This is the materials you are gonna need. I'm gonna leave a list in the description. And of course the slabs can be any kind of slabs. The blocks here can be any kind of solid block, right? Like cobblestone, for example. And this uh, white glass can be pretty much any kind of block. Just try to avoid using uh, blocks that interact with headstone, right? Uh, these two blocks need to be transparent, so you can use glass, slabs, or stairs. And this yellow block is any block that you can place a door on top. So the first thing is you're gonna need a 5x5 five five hole uh, that is 5 blocks deep, right? So first for reference, uh, let's place the chest where the uh, shulker boxes will be. Okay, I'm gonna do a layer by layer and always using the chest here as our reference. So come here in the middle block on the first row here next to the chest, place a stick piece, on, place a block next to it, one slab on this side close to the chest, and two slabs on the other side. Okay, now for the second layer, come on this side here, place one slab. Here you place three, two, and two slabs, like so. On this side here, under where the chest is, you place a dropper facing up and a hopper pointing to that dropper. On that side, you place a stick piston in the headstone block. On top of these blocks here, uh, you place a comparator, a headstone dust, repeater, and headstone dust. And on top of the stick piston, you place your observer facing this way here. So for his reference, the face of the uh, observer needs to be on the side where your chest is. Okay, now on the next layer, let's start here. We need to place a headstone dust here, comparator this way, another comparator this way, a repeater this way on four ticks, headstone dust here, one block here, one block here, and another block here. Now come on top of this dropper, place your observer facing this way, and another dropper on top of that dropper, a note block on top of this stick piston, a double chest here, a hopper pointing to that chest, and a slab next to that hopper. And on this slab you place a headstone dust and another slab here. Okay, now come here on top of the dropper again and again another observer facing this way. And now an observer in front of this observer pointing up here and another dropper here, a block on top of the node block, another block here, 
a hopper pointing down to this double chest. Now place headstone dust on this slab, this block and this slab next to the hopper. Now place a block on top of this block and on top of this repeater, press shift to place this. And now place slabs here, here and here. And another slab on top of this hopper here. But yeah, this slab is on the bottom part of the block, right? Okay, now on the next layer, place a dispenser here. A hopper pointing to the dispenser. Another drop here pointing up to this chest. Here you can place any block that you can place a door on top. Now place a comparator here and another comparator there. Headstone dust here and here. Two repeaters on four ticks here. Now place six slabs like this. Three blocks like this. And one block here. Now you need to place a hopper here, but first we place a temporary block there. Place the hopper and break this block. So the hopper is pointing here where the choker box will go. Now we are on the same layer of our chest. Place two blocks here. Come down here to place an observer facing this way. And you need to place a piston next to this observer, uh, but you need it to also place it facing down. So break this block temporarily, place the piston facing down like this, and then you can replace the block back here. Now on this side, place a headstone dust, a torch, and a headstone repeater. Place one block here, and another block on front of this here. Now place a comparator pointing to this block, a comparator pointing the other way, two headstone dust there and one headstone dust here. Now here you can place any block that doesn't cut that headstone link there. Two blocks here that can be any block. This is uh, gonna be your interface so can be some aesthetic blocks right place a lever here and your door here now place a barrel on top of this hopper and the hopper pointing to the barrel and a block next to this hopper now we are in the last layer you can place any block here a headstone lamp here a double chest here and a block here that you can open the chest still. Now place headstone dust here and also place headstone dust on top of this in this observer. Place a repeater here on two ticks and another headstone dust here. Now place one block here, two blocks here, a headstone torch here. Another headstone torch here, a stick piston here, and the observer facing this way. Now you can place your choker boxes here. Remember that all of them have to have all slots with at least one item inside, right? And you can connect your storage system uh, to this, right? So first filter out the unstackable items. And you can have some book storage for items that you have a lot, maybe some chess halls, right? And then you uh, come to this uh, as the last thing of your storage system. Okay, now this part I'm gonna show you guys how to fix uh, the, some issues, right? That I talked about. So the first issue is that sometimes there is still a shocker box left there where they load, right? So the, the way we are dealing with that right now is using this lever that breaks the shocker box that's left there. But if you want to do that automatically, you can break this door, break the lever and break uh, this glass here. And you can place an observer here, a note block here, an observer here and a 
block on top of the node block. So this will automatically break the box that's left there. But yeah, you have this node block now in your interface. <laughs> so I hope you like the node block texture. Yeah, but now we can't access that hopper there. And we need access to that hopper because like I said, there is some cases that we have an item there that can't get inside any of the boxes. So the way to do that is you break this block and just leave a trapdoor here. And when you need it to access, you just open the trapdoor and access the hopper there. Okay, now how to solve the problem uh, when we have some choker boxes left in this hopper? You can either manually just come here and grab the boxes and place back inside the chest, or you can come here and break a two by three area like this, three deep, like so. And now you make a U shape with blocks here. Now you place a hopper pointing to that chest here. And you can place a repeater here and headstone dust here. So yeah guys, that's it for the tutorial and for the video. I will leave a world download and a schematic download in the description. And also a material list if you want to build this. So thank you for watching and I see you in the next video. Bye!